In this tutorial, you'll learn how to prevent a fixed nav bar from overlapping content below it. All right, so I have a simple example project here. So we have a nav bar, and then usually you're gonna have some content below there, right? So what the problem is gonna be is that when we make this nav bar fixed and it will scroll with us, but this content will shift upwards because when you use position fixed, it will be, it will be taken out of the normal flow. And let me just show you, show you this. So if we go to header here, and we're gonna say position fixed, you can see a couple of things happen actually. So first of all, the header itself does not cover the entire width anymore. Well, that's easily solved. We can just set the width to 100%, and then it covers the whole width again, but you can see the content has now shifted upwards. So there is some overlap with the header and the content, right? So ideally we also, of course, if the header is gonna cover anything, it should sit on top. So it's a good idea to just set a very large Z index on a fixed header anyway. But of course, ideally, we don't have any overlap here in the beginning. So to get rid of that overlap, it's best to just add some padding to the top of the body. right? So we can just add padding to the top of the body, and that is going to be the same height as the header. So and we actually made the header 60 pixels. This header is from navbar is from a different video. If you want to learn how to build a responsive navbar from scratch, then check out one of the videos in the playlist. But that had that size of the of the of the header is 60 pixels. So since we used position fixed, it's being taken out of the normal flow as it's called. So that 60 pixels of space is not taking up space anymore when you use position fixed. That's why it moves upwards because that 60 pixels of space has become available for the other stuff on the page, right? So you, that's what happens when you take it out of the normal flow, which is what happens when you use position fixed. So to to add back that 60 pixels of space, we're gonna add padding on the top of the body, right? But that will shift everything down again, including the content, but the header itself as well. Now the header should actually just stay at the top of the viewboard, right? So we can say top zero, so that will stay at the top. So now what the, the header will, nav bar will scroll with us, and the content does not overlap here with the fixed header, right? So it, it has been shifted down again by the same height as the, as the nav bar, right? So it's a bit tricky here, um, but you really need to know how CSS works with, you know, the different positioning. But there are other concepts as well, like Flexbox and CSS Grid that are really important for any web developer. If you work with the front end, it's crucial that you understand these topics. So if you haven't mastered positioning, Flexbox, CSS Grid, if you haven't mastered these concepts yet, I highly recommend you check out my CSS course. It takes a couple of hours, but it will benefit you for the rest of your career. Um, if you want to learn JavaScript, definitely check out my JavaScript course as well. It's also one of the critical skills for any web developer. Both of those links you can find in the description. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level, because in there we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.